G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Today's video is going to be walking from the Harris Dam shelter all the way into Collie. Now I'm making this in the afternoon the day before because as if you follow my channel already you'll know that I normally leave when it's dark and tomorrow it's a 21, 22 plus kilometre walk and I have to get back into Collie and then walk up to where I'll park my car at a friend's house and then drive all the way back into Perth. So I hope you enjoy the video. Morning. It's still dark. Just before 4 a.m. I woke up about an hour and a half ago and can't get back to sleep. So I've packed up and I'm going to start walking into Collie. But with it being so dark, I'm going to be taking my time and making sure I don't get lost. But like I said in previous videos, with your head torch, it makes the actual wargles, your little signs that direct which way you go, glowing. They do. As soon as your head torch hits them, they just light up. So they're actually a lot easier to see at night. So, let's get on. Okay, I'm at the Harris Dam picnic area and because it's dark I was quite lucky enough to do some filming down here yesterday so I'll turn that filming on for you now Okay, we're about two hours in and the sky is just beginning to lighten up. The only reason I need the head torch now is to see the warbles. And a lovely walk so far. Been dark. A couple of single strands cobwebs, well, say five or six of them. And one massive spider. Big orb spider by the looks of it. I should have made a web way up high so I could walk straight underneath, which was good. I didn't have to damage your web. There we go. He nearly got me. Straight across the track his web is. Yeah, the head torch is off now. It's light enough to see the warbles without it. Ah. All the black shadows, the silhouettes of all the trees and the bushes and everything have now turned green. <laughs> it's just beautiful. You can hear Mother Nature waking up. It's 
is what you miss when you leave later on in the morning. Fair enough, I left a bit too early this morning for most. But yeah, this is just lovely. I can just see the sunrise over that way. It's just beautiful. That's the word beautiful. I'm going for just short of four hours now and I'm just over halfway. I did miss a warble back there and went about a kilometre. Let's come all the way back that kilometre and find it. One of the warbles were missing off the tree and I only actually saw the other warble when I was coming back. Uh, it was positioned at such an angle which showed the um, trail that you'd come down to see that warble. But the sign on that the warble was just off a bit hidden and the the last warble basically looks like you carry straight over but that turns into a cycle track so yeah so i'm just having five minutes sit down now you can still hear the conveyor belt going that hasn't stopped uh, it's just beautiful out here now the sun's coming through the trees and it's beginning to warm up a bit so I reckon I should be in Collie, including the land to stop and do some filming and take some photos. I should be there by about 12 o'clock. It's been a nice easy walk. Oh, it's needed. Yeah, it's been a fairly easy walk it has. A little bit up and down, but nothing serious. I've been using the two poles today, which has made it a lot easier. Yeah, last night at the Harris Dam shelter, it got dark early this time of year, but had the cockaboos just performing. They were it was great for about a good hour and a half. They were just going. And then once they went quiet, I don't know what it was, it was a small bird I think, but there was this tweeting all night, so I don't know what they were. If anybody knows what they may have been, I always thought birds went to sleep at night, but this one was just, well there was a few of them, just all night, just making a high pitched tweet, it was. It was a good night's sleep there. I think I fell to sleep early and woke up extra early, so that's why I'm so far ahead today. It's just gone, I think it's just gone half seven in the morning, and like I said, I'm halfway to Collie. So yeah, walking in the dark, yeah, I enjoyed it. I always do. You don't seem to miss any of the warbles in the dark because they just light up with your head torch. Right, better get the pack done up again, straighten myself up and carry on walking.
made it to the spur trail. Oh, I'm going that way. Collie, I'll see you there shortly. made it to Collie Visitors Centre and my feet are hurting. The worst part is me coming out of the bush and walking down that walkway all the way down here. It feels like eternity in the feet. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have and you're not subscribed already, please go down below and click on the subscribe button, click on the notification bell and select all and click on like. And if you have already subscribed to my channel, Again, I thank you very much. So, until next time, get out there, have some fun, and take care.